Perfect. Welcome everyone tonight um, at nine. I know it's a bit late, but this is a great time for us all to come together and to chat about um, how to write the best personal profile. Um, we are part of the CTC initiative, and you know these shows. Oh, sorry, these um, profiles are very important for you in the CTC um, initiative, and these they are used in different kind of in different kind of ways um obviously subject to where we need them but this is basically a profile that will showcase who you are and how, what you stand for in in the CTC community now um late uh, soon soon Jeanette will be joining us and um she's the lady that's in charge of the CTC magazine which will obviously be launching soon which is a great way for you to meet and see other kind of people that are part of the C2C community. Now, um, what we're going to be discussing is, hi Ian, how are you? All right, and you, good evening. I can hear you. Hello to me, so I'm going to join you for a few minutes. Okay, uh, perfect. Mr. Maweri, and there was a lady I saw for a fleeting second and she used to be gone. Nice, nice yeah. to meet you. How are you? <laughs> Finally. Nice we, we were struggling with technology for some reason. You were saying hello to me. I couldn't say hello to you, so I had to log myself out and uh, revisit. Anyway, no, you guys. So you are Ian. You are the visitor. You can tell us who you are and what you do and uh, what makes you famous. Well, I, I guess um, famous is a very questionable thing. But I I came from a legal background. Um, started a condom business. Started importing condoms in the early nineties. Built a, built a very successful brand called Rap Rider in the early 90s, became market leaders in 1993, 1994 against the giants at the time, it was London rubber company Jurex. I then launched the tooth whitening category in uh, 1992, 1993 with a brand called Plus White. We became category captains in, in that area and we not only showed consumers the point of difference between normal dentrifices toothpaste versus the more advanced and enhanced tooth whitening products. I then developed the natural body care category for a number of the major retailers in South Africa in 1995-96. Uh, an, an amazing initiative. In fact, we spearheaded the first store within store concept in Pick and Pay. Uh, when they launched their, their new way forward with Kevin Corb and obviously Sean Summers at the time, uh, called their Buzulela approach to the, the, the sort of new market. We had the very, very first store within store concept in their world. Um, I then got into the color cosmetics uh, space by chance. Uh, we became a developer of um, a lot of private label concepts for a number of, of, of retailers. Uh, we recently partnered with JB with a company who I'm sure you know familiar with called Amca Trading. Amca being the largest privately owned personal care company in Africa uh, with a number of key brands. Some of them would know, um, Soft and Free, uh, got some amazing brands uh, in Playgirl, Playboy. Um, they also do Satie Skin, number one, um, let's call it Surfact and Soap brand in the market. So we feel very privileged to be aligned with you know, some of our work efforts in, in, in their space as well. And uh, that's just in a nutshell. Um, I've, I've always marketing i've enjoyed building brands um but you know we we, we rely on you know talk to people like natasha because they are much more evolved in the modern marketing sense i'm a traditionalist i know how to build pillars not always 100 uh, sure in terms of where the youth are um in in in, in the social media so Natasha's of the world become very vital and you know with the kind of energy that Tasha displays um you know, we see that type of uh, not only friendship because they've had a long-term friendship with 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 the Tasha and ricky but certainly in terms of picking a very, a very valuable brain no thank you very much and uh, it's uh that's why we are here we we have a network called the 1873 network Right. And the, the idea is to build bridges between people and also give them a platform to exchange ideas, also exchange uh, insights, uh, experiences, knowledge, and uh, 
uh, we we are trying to just convert ourselves into a community. Like now, I know you. What you have said, it, it means it can provide a bridge for us to work together. And especially with this social distancing, we are stuck with uh, being at home or at workplace. Uh, this new normal, we have to find new ways of spreading ourselves, reaching out to different markets, different audiences. And that requires all of us to be able to uh, build these virtual communities where value can be exchanged. 100%. So welcome. Thank you very much. Ask, yeah, ask, we, okay, go ahead. Nice to be joining you. Yeah, so we, we can then take the... Uh, that's Janet Madaka, who is uh, uh, has been helping, volunteering, get this uh, C to C, uh, what we are calling connections to communities. So when it's four of us, now we are balanced. We have uh, two who look white and two who look black. <laughs> and uh, that's what we've been saying. Uh, we need to break these barriers so that uh, we are seen as one, we are we uh, we also sending message to everybody that each one of us counts, and if we put our minds on a problem, we we'll solve it quicker than if each one of us works separately. I agree with that. I agree. Yeah. And I think, as you said, because of the forced thing issue, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, to approach the new life or the new norm. I mean, just 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 by way, by way of an example, and I'm not going to sort of uh, waste any any more of the time. But one of the big challenges, and I, I guess particularly for these sort of you know over 35s, 40 year olds, I've always been, and I, I guess from a from a from a very early age and from my my, my earlier legal background, I'm always very confident in. Obviously, my presentations, meetings with retailers and doing presentations at any level. Um, so long as I knew what I was talking about or the products that I was endeavoring or attempting to sell, I felt confident. And, and I think one of the new, let's call it the COVID provided difficulties for us is obviously doing these presentations in Zoom meetings because you lose the tactileness. It's very difficult, especially if it's a one-on-one -on -one meeting and you're shuffling around, you're trying to get obviously a, a digital presentation to you know your prospective uh, audience in terms of the buyers at hand or the owners of the business at hand so those are you know some of the challenges where i think perhaps the, the youth would find obviously a lot more comfort in technology and being you know comfortable in technology and, and and allowing technology to flow whereas you know i'll get around it but it's it's not something which you know i'm, I'm super confident and but you know and, and instead of keeping myself you know very involved and kind of evolving the, let's call it the process i find myself being very distracted in trying to make things work and manage you know some of the areas where you know it's not my sort of my first leaning or my first call and i think that's something which you know as i said the new generation can certainly bring um a different kind of vantage point perhaps you know create that sort of marriage uh, between us and and, and and, and new technology. No, in fact, uh, thank you. And also, one is the online training. Great. And uh, we also need your CV so that we can include you in this project to provide virtual learning for Africa. And uh, on business, on branding, on uh, project management, uh, just to share some of the uh, insights and experiences you have had because there are many people who are looking for mentorship. So what you find is uh, black people want to be mentored by black people and sometimes uh, we blacks don't have the experience uh, to be able to have the, uh, the depth that we need to be able to uh, provide people with the kind of uh, inspiration or a, a sense to move. So if we work together on that, uh, just building a faculty from South Africa to Nigeria to Ethiopia, and uh, we are now in a better position to link 
uh, people who are in different geographies and be able to have one hour with you, one hour with somebody else, and you, some of you, your colleagues who are still in the corporate, some are outside the corporate, and uh, distribution agreements, how to uh, channel to market, and how to position the person uh, in the in this uh, complex market. Absolutely, and and certainly and, and certainly steer young people in the direction where they shouldn't be going. In other words, not to make the same mistakes as you know entrepreneurs have traditionally made, and you know over trading and over this and over that. You know, I think that becomes quite important. That's a, that's what we don't have because you find you don't have an uncle, you don't have a parent who was in business, so you are the first generation CEO. What do you do? You are lonely, you are only, but people expect you to be a complete person. Fully, fully, fully understand, a absolutely. And if I and if I take, I guess my youthful prowess and the the sort of the, you know the let's call it the instinctive knowledge that I had in the nineties and the first ten years and 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 the knowledge that I have now, it's worlds apart, absolutely worlds apart. And it's 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 the fall downs that give you. I guess the true pedigree at the end of the day, and if you can create the marriage between the true pedigree of life's experiences, to get good marketing knowledge, and you know, still I guess youthful idea, you you know you 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 create something perhaps more meaningful for you know different generations to come. That's a, that's the general a, that's the general idea that we are trying to promote, and. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is the page. Can you see the page on that side? Unfortunately, my little boy had my when he fell asleep, but I can see him invited to. to edit yeah, it. you can just. Natasha, uh -huh. you, you can send this to me in the morning if you want, Natasha, and I can copy. Uh -huh. Okay, that's fine. We produce. Um, I will take the link which we will put on YouTube. I'm assuming is this on, going to be on YouTube tonight? Yeah, it's going to be on YouTube. Yeah. Then I can always just send you the link in the morning, Ian. Is that good for you? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say, Natasha. Yeah. Let Let, let the, uh, Janet. Do you need any any more? I'm, I've shared mine, but you were also sharing the same. Is it? Yes, no, it's fine. Uh, what I need you to do is I want you to press this and press the other one so that there are two options. Yeah, I, I got I got this one. And there uh, must be one on top of one. This one. Did I send one? Uh -uh. The, I sent two links. I got uh, uh, one link. I, did you send an email or what? Uh, no, and the private, private chat. Huh? There's one that doesn't have a person on it. Oh. Okay, the it's one link that I got. The Canva. Uh, okay, let me resend. Okay, I'm going to share it again. Okay. Copy link. Okay, what I like about this link is that you can customize it. Okay, so I'm sending it again. So I'm going to show you how I customize that. Does this send documents? No, it doesn't. Okay, it's fine. You can open the other link, sir. Which one? The one you have sent it? Yes. So let's see okay uh, okay this one or oh, is, oh, is it my network that is a problem no no i got i got it oh all right okay that one is empty right so the thing is, what we can do with that one is that we can customize it, and it can look like this. I just want to show you what it can what it can look like. Uh, unfortunately, I can only send it, I think, via email, via WhatsApp. Okay. 
Okay, just close this one. I'm going to try and share the screen from my side because I can share it here. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, I want you to open this one that I also sent. I just sent you a WhatsApp of the document that I customized. Because I'm having a hard time. Because I think it might be easier to work with. Then uh, I also on, send on, it to Mr. Mawe. On WhatsApp? On WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Okay. Can we maybe close the current screen we've got now? Okay, let me close the one I have here. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay, I've just shared a bigger version of it. Can you see it there? Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. I can see anything. Just give me a second. Both as you, I'm sure you notice that the second uh, share that I did, it has got nothing, but you can customize it. It's not that hard to do. And I thought since we are talking about editing pictures, this one might work better for us. All right, so which, uh, okay, I don't see it. Just give me a second. Sorry, just okay. did, you, did you see the PDF that I sent? Uh, where did you oh. send that? You still hasn't loaded. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the screen, is it possible? Share screen, how do I do it? A share screen is down the uh, way it's okay. mute. Yeah. All right. So share screen and then Chrome tab, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you see what's on my screen now? Uh, it's loading. There we go. Oh, okay. Perfect. Nice. And we can do this from the second uh, Canva page I sent you. I don't know, can this work or should we look for another page? No, that's fine, you can go ahead. Yes. So I'm saying, Natasha, from the second mm -hmm. second link I sent you, you can start working, we can work with that one. Okay. Yeah, so you can do a presentation with that. Okay, let me see. The second link is okay. Let's work on okay. The second one is where we're discussing a profile that says keep evolving, think, keep pushing yourself, stay on top of it. That's correct. Uh, let me, yes, I think so. Okay, yeah, because we can use this, this one as well, because this is a very great um profile, especially for a magazine. Uh, it's got a beautiful picture. Um, you know, there are so many tips on, 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 on creating a picture that is going to draw your audience to what you're actually writing and saying about yourself. So if you, we look at this picture as an example, this is a very great picture because uh, the gentleman is presenting himself as to what he's doing for a living. So um, I believe he is someone who's a businessman so obviously he in my sense i'm a person that's in business as well so that could be something that i find common with him um if you are for example in let's say um in marketing you know um going in a very corporate suit if you are more for marketing in social media uh you you more more bit more um, creative bit more on that side um, a, a full-on suit, I don't think will, will suit match that, that profile, but you know, um, the, 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 what you're trying to do with, or trying to achieve with your picture is to basically present yourself as what you are presenting in the article about you. Uh, so let's try and avoid as well any group pictures um, when obviously presenting yourself in a, in a link, in a, obviously in a profile like this. And if you, it's possible and you do have a brand that you are trying to showcase, because remember, you are the face of your brand. And when people look at your brand, they see you. And when people see you, they see your brand. So if you can somehow showcase your brand by way of a logo on your shirt or um, any some way like that, that would be great as well. Because obviously that will kind of give the audience a bit more um, wanting to go into what you are trying to um, achieve from 
the article that you're posting. And, you know, for the audience out there and everybody from the C2C is listening and viewing or watching tonight, please do not add a selfie. Um, that kind of doesn't give a great, um, you know, uh, appearance of who you are. And as well, is it kind of push people away from um, your what you're going to present to them? It, it, it's going to give them that kind of a feeling that you are just like not taking this serious. Oh, was, this is a serious thing. You know, building communities with the CTC, it is a serious thing. And people will be going through your profile. They will be seeing who you are. And if you present yourself the way that you need to present yourself and that you would like your audience to receive you, um, it is important to obviously put the best picture there. Because remember, when they go through this magazine, they will not be reading the article first. They are seeing the picture. And if the picture is appealing and the picture picture is attractive enough to them, they will carry on going through the page. Um, so Jeanette, are you happy with, um, you know, are you have anything to add to that um, about the profile picture? So uh, I'm actually saying that I can help you with that. But, sorry, sir. Oh, I was thinking yeah. I can actually help you with right that. Now, right now, if I was, if I was a reader, uh. Uh, what, uh, and uh, I don't see C to C there. I see a, a person and a, a logo of a company uh, that has nothing to do with uh, the magazine that you are trying to promote. So the first thing is, uh, what is it that I want to convey? Do I want to convey uh, the brand or I want to promote the community, uh, building community power? Mm. So if it's a community power, then I have a, a C to C where I have a picture, either I'm a member or I'm not a member. Mm. So if there's a membership number, then I put my identity as a member. Then I then talk about the, the person who is a member. And uh, then I connect the person to a community. Mm. So the answer is, what is a community? What is family? How is business uh, ordinarily done? You find we do business in networks in families. Mm. But uh, when you are looking at this, uh, I am promoting glue or I'm, I'm selling advertising space. So this becomes like an ad advertorial. It is an advertorial. And, yeah, but then you, what you're saying is uh, I can do both advertorial but promotional for the cause that I find myself in. But I fully agree. I think we need to, um, you know, I think from, because we are branding the C2C um, community, that is what this magazine is about. It's about, you know, building relationships. It's about putting people together in a community. And it's about bringing people together. And I fully agree. Um, we should maybe um, add, if we, if, we took, if we take Facebook for an example, Facebook's got a logo and then it's got your details and it's got... Uh, obviously your information um, I think instead of glue we should have um, CGC's logo there and then next to it your name and your surname and then as well as what you do for a living if you're a legal advisor in corporate law or let it be your social media and marketing specialist whichever title it is it needs to go there and then your community number or your membership number because obviously the membership number is needed for when people want to connect to people. Uh, it's easy, obviously, to find them as reference, uh, that could that um, reference or that uh, membership number. And then later on, we can obviously add the logo of the company 
or the brand, or maybe add the brand um, logo underneath a gentleman because it kind of says what he is. Because at the moment, I fully agree with you, it looks like um, we are promoting the, that company or that brand, and it's not got nothing to do with what we are for. Asha, just, just for a, a minute, just give me a praise seed um, version of what you're trying to achieve. What is actually trying? Because I've sort of come in to see, I'm seeing things, but I have no idea what I'm actually looking at. Just like before I say good night, comment or give some input. Okay, well, and um, what we're trying to achieve is uh, we've got the C2C community, which is everything online. We have uh, uh, there, there's groups that have put been put together for people to connect one another, as well as uh, we're doing a new thing, which is a virtual magazine, which will be showcasing people that are part of the community or the members that are part of them for people to can obviously see they, who the members are. How did they become members of this community? What what brought together demographically, psychographically, combination of both? What was the... So, this is like you, Ian, uh, uh, hopefully we'll get you to be a member. So this picture we have is a, a member's picture. So we can take the four of us on this show. Right. That will then be on, the, on, your, on your page. But you will be seen with others. So it means I can then also send it to my LinkedIn, to my Facebook, to my Twitter. And there will be an association. So we are trying to build a page that will then, like what you have described earlier on, that will be the text version of you. Just giving your profile. But you being profiled in a community where we can cross market each other. Okay. Now, now. So, like, I will take this picture, then that will be the first picture to show the community side, the family side that you and Natasha know each other. But Natasha may have difficulty in telling you what you see to see. And uh, uh, it will take time for her uh, to tell you, say, come, come. We say, what, what is it all about? But if people see you like on this show, Ian, just agreeing to be on this show, itself is part of reaching out. I'm with you. Because they will see your picture with Natasha. And the people who know you jointly, they will see and say, but what is this all about? Because sometimes, the, imagine, Ian, you are looking for a job. You give me your CV. What do I do with it? You send it to your network. No, but if I send, they say, my friend, why don't you sort out the problem? Why do you send your, your, your garbage here? No, because, I mean, what you're doing is you, is, I mean, I, my understanding, if, 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 I, if I say, listen, I've got a, a friend, her name is Natasha the Coca. Um, you know, she's highly skilled, she's capable, and you put her in this community, what happens is there's an instant credibility push. Um, and that's that's, right. right. So what happens, it, it, in other words, there's credibility by association within the family, and I, I understand what you're saying, I hope. That, that's right. And uh, some of the people we deal with, let's say I'm a marketing manager of a brand, and uh, I spend my time in a beer hall, where there's no network. On Friday, I'm outside in the township. On Monday, I don't have any targets. Or I'm a lawyer. And people just don't know what I do because I never talk about it. But if we talk about legal matters, it means even though you are not a lawyer, you sound knowledgeable. People will make a reference and say, go to Ian, go to Natasha. Fully understood. Okay. But if we are, if we are seen together, it means it's easier to market without me saying I know you. But if you have my picture with you, then that's marketing for you. How many people have taken uh, pictures with, with celebrities? But they don't know them. But what happens with that picture, I can take it home and show other people. And I pretend I know the person. But the person doesn't even remember me. 
No, I get it. I understand. Yeah. So the idea is uh, even even this picture on its own. If we take the 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 picture tonight, uh, we are we are trying to uh, to uh, to build this uh, uh, this canvas. It means uh, I have Derek who is there, and uh, the same picture can uh, can now go into into the this picture of us it can now go into the magazine and okay. our names are there so that way we have uh, some point of entry it will show who is there and uh, good evening uh, uh, Derek Good evening, say good evening, everyone. Oh, Derek. So it means the uh, Derek is now part of the of the team, but we see he, uh, we have five people, and uh, there are two black males. There are one black female, one white female, one uh, white male. So I'm 20% of the team. I got it. And we are the majority, but we are showing how to build inclusive communities, which is the theme that let's build communities, convert our connections into a community. So it means, Ian, you are now part of us uh, by through Natasha. But if there's something I know you recommend Natasha as a branding person and say, uh, please try Natasha here. Even the fact that you are on the same platform, it means it's tomorrow, Ian, you are no longer a stranger to what we are doing. I, I understand a lot more than I did when I, when I first joined. So I get it. And uh, I think it's a very good idea. Yeah. So that's a, the, 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 the newsletter is to have a print version of uh, uh, the text version and the graphics version of the video. Because some people don't have the time to remember names. All right. Uh, but if they see you in a magazine, it means we are exporting whatever we are doing into some other content just changing the mix of it and the conversation we are having here could be part of the text to accompany the pictures okay I got it. Greg, is, that, is that understandable on your side 100 percent. yeah yes i understand very much just that I just came in the house when, when the show was in, uh, I was already, I was already underway, uh, but I understand you. That's right. And uh, Natasha and Janet, they wanted to have their private show on Zoom. <laughs> and what I was saying to Janet, uh, put it out there. That's, that's what you are trying to do. You may benefit from others. Mm. So on the, we will then have, a, a, it was supposed to be Natasha's uh, uh, page. What should it contain? Uh, that was the question, uh, Ian. Well, I think, it, I think it needs to contain a lot. I think um, the bright young lady with obviously positive ideas, but grounded ideas, not... not uh, Pseudo intellectual nonsense. In other words, it's a person who's taken herself on a journey of life, um, a, a continual sort of study program, uh, which allows her to evolve all the time. That type of thing in this world needs to be applauded. You know, I've watched, watched the tap road the last three years, tremendously. I really have. Uh, and, you know, with, 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 with no hesitation in saying that, very often I say to Ricky, do me a favor, just Ask Natasha this question. 
and I have loads of marketing experience and you know feel very confident in a lot of my ideas, but it's quite nice to bring board for somebody that has maybe limited experience in business, but has learned a lot in, in a very short period of time. And certainly keeping herself abreast of, of where market trends are, where things are happening, is not late. But in other words, even even you know, suggest walks to the retail store, knows where my product is in the house, and will come back and say, Ian, there's a problem. So she has an eye for the practical as well, as opposed to the theoretical you know, marketing principles, which is very important when looking for a complete marketing person or, or, or PR, for that matter, or social media guru. Yeah. Like now, uh, Ian, look, uh, I've, uh, I've posted on Twitter. I can see. Yeah. And uh, it shows all of us. So my page could have uh, 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 me and my links with the four people. Just say number one is so-and-so, number two is so-and-so, number three. And the five of us are members. How, how often do you envisage this kind of evening running? I mean, how many times a month? What is what is your plan, Mr. Oweri? Our plan is to make it a democratic space that uh, uh, we have the links. If you feel you are you are you are an accelerator, you want to get somewhere quickly, you do more often. You can you just go and post and and use the page and uh, you go on social media. And just showing who you are, then you just have a register of members. Yeah. So it's a member platform. So it will have 24 hours, but you can split into five minutes. I can just be on air five minutes just to talk about what do I do, what is on my mind. But I am broadcasting to a community that we are creating. So the idea is to have, like all these social media platforms, there is no editor. There is no one who tells you to go uh, to tweet. Okay. So you, if you want your brand to go far, it means you have to be able to be the, the manager of your brand. No, that is that is definitely what it's about. I mean, nobody's going to speak better or more about your brand from a principle that uh, is a hundred percent. But many people want somebody else to do that for them. They never show up. They never step forward. They never step up to the plate. They just uh, want to remain in the shadows. Uh, thinking that Natasha is doing it for me. Mm, can you also contribute on where we want to be? Maybe on, on topics which are which are trending uh, at the moment, where you want to be. Maybe you want to maybe have a space where you just want to want to focus on. Or you think people must be must be enlightened on. For example, corporate governance. Yeah, I can create a, a, a community. Is there illiteracy around what a company is among us? If there is, then how a company is governed? Is there illiteracy? That you appoint someone a director and they don't even understand what it means to be a director. That's true, Mutunga. You know, um, yeah, we don't know. So many times where people are directors of companies and they think they are the shareholders and shareholders think they're directors. It is, it's two different um, parties in the company. It's two different stakeholders and yet people think it's the same thing. That's right. And some people think shareholders uh, employ directors. They don't know directors work for the company. They mm. are company officers. But some people... Uh, say if it's my company, then you work for me. And then uh, uh, corporate governance. 
the arguments that take place in companies. It's amazing. Some are kids yes. in terms of corporate civilization. So you have a kindergarten, somebody who even is a lawyer and doesn't even know what a company is. And then you have disputes. Yeah, Okay, yes. go ahead. It's a very interesting uh, area. Yeah, I'm let's... saying it's a it's a very interesting area, and you can also and you can also be focusing on on what will be happening in in companies around us, which also include uh, conflict of interest. So remember, if it's a page now, whatever around us can also be uh, be formed into a topic. Then we talk about that. And then people learn no, lifelong yeah, lessons, which are uh, which are re which are realistic. But I'm saying we are blessed. We talk too much anyway. So Hello? you give us a microphone. We are going to talk over and over without doing anything. I'm just saying is for us. We are saying our object is building a community. And if that is the community, yes. we have a shared understanding on what this platform is what we are trying to do, what Ian was asking. Do we have a shared understanding? If the answer is no, then why don't we use a person like Ian to explain what we are doing so that he can be able to see sense in it? Any person who is new, we, I'm also learning. Because if I don't make him understand, so the first is, what is this all about? Second, you find people who are in families, in tribes. When you say community, C to C, they think you are introducing rocket science. But they don't look at a church as a community. They look at a church as a highway to go to heaven. So how do we convert a, a concept of a church into a community? What happens in the church? Now with social distancing, there are many pastors who can't collect cash. So right now they're struggling to say uh, the guys want to come with cash. But uh, imagine after a good sermon, you feel generous. But uh, if it's a uh, virtual, it's a nightmare right now. How do you enforce payment? And what language do you use in the online version? So building a community requires you to show up like Derek, you are there, you are showing up, and your voice will be there. So what is a company? What is a leader? Just imagine what is a leader in a WhatsApp group. Just talk about the WhatsApp group. The admin becomes a leader. Imagine you are a leader of a WhatsApp group. And someone asks you, can I, can I contribute? And what is the group for? Have you ever heard that question? Somebody comes into a group of human beings. Then say, what is the group for? But the group doesn't have a voice. You are asking human beings, what is the, why are you here? But you are here as well with me. Let's get on with it. How many people wait to be validated by somebody else? How many people are afraid to contribute? How many people are afraid to come on air? Like you want to talk, Derek. If you say, I'm a Christian, I'm a follower of Jesus. Does Jesus come to church? No. If you follow Prophet Muhammad, have you ever seen the face of Prophet Muhammad? In the media. No, he doesn't exist. At least Jesus will have a vision. But the Prophet Muhammad doesn't exist. But there are more than a billion followers. But they build mosques. They build churches. And how do they do it? How do we build a platform that is co-owned by all of us? So those are the challenges. If you are a pastor, they believe you. If you are directly talking about this, so you can say, I'm going to have a show at 8 o'clock in the name of C2C. 
Then C2C becomes real. Ian, you know a company called the PWC? Yep. What, what is the company? What does it do? It pretty much makes a mess of things from what I... But do you know what? PWC doesn't do any work. Did you know that? That's what I'm saying, yeah. But people do in the name of PWC. I don't go to PWC for the logo. But there are partners, human beings who, who trade in the name of PWC. Then you go to one guy who is a solo operator. He says he's a chartered accountant. And every day he's looking at the sun. And doesn't have anyone with accounting problems. Would you trust that person to be an accountant? Definitely not. And if you're sick, your, your books are sick as well. Hmm. But how many people say, I want to be on my own without thinking about the clients? But if we have a community of accountants, a community of lawyers, that's what I've been saying to Ricky, why don't you set up a Kyle and Associates? But you are not there, you are dead. But you collect a fee for renting the, the legal expertise. But you need more people. Can, can I, I make a suggestion? And as I said, I'm, I'm not going to be rude. I've got like three minutes of battery. Okay, no problem. I'm going to have a wife that's going to be asking me for a divorce because I promised her uh, an, e an evening together. And uh, I didn't know anything about this webinar until about an hour or a bit ago. So. <laughs> Apologize, but we'll definitely join you again. I just want to say what, what becomes interesting for people, Mr. Mueri, is the you know certain topics. And you know, that I, th I think what what it's not a criticism, it's an observation. I think structure around topics um, becomes important so that when people who have limited interest find a topic interesting in an evening where they can become part of the community for that moment and build the interest is something which I think should be and structured because you may I may have said to you for arguments like Ricky look I'd, I'd like to invite five or six people to come and listen to Natasha or to listen to yourself or to listen to this so I think for a lot of people structure in these types of webinars are very important I was very fortunate a friend of mine during lockdown who comes from a, a, a banking world invited me to um, an international webinar where obviously um, startup businesses were were pitching on, on on certain international platforms and what i noticed was that there was no deviation from topic allowed or no anything in, in other words because the, the the listeners found that they would stay interested in the hour the two hours so long as the topics that they had dialed into were obviously sort of playing out that way as opposed to just generalisms so i think that's quite important when obviously trying to build um sort of IP or intellectual persons into the uh, community is to sort of keep them on track and uh, let them. In fact, yeah. For the young yeah. experts, their uh, TVs on a, on, a, on, a, on a platform like this. So it's just an observation. No, in, um, fact, yeah, in fact, this was uh, uh, ambushed, but otherwise it was supposed to be just to show the they see to see but otherwise what we are expecting is different members will have different topics then if they are members then we now have an administration to be able to schedule those interesting and get heavy eaters who attract traffic because and i think uh, that becomes very important for yeah. um, natasha, what, what natasha wanted to say because i was quite interested in listening to Obviously, um, you know her, her her skill base and expertise in in the development of obviously what I was invited to. Is there anything else, Nats? Um, no, yeah, I'm not sure um, where we're going with this. Um, sh if you, um, oh no, you're going to leave us soon. Um, obviously, we should, we will probably. Um,
carry on with this um, going on tonight. Um, what we're going to do is we can always send you, I would, like I say, I'll send you the link later on and you can obviously have a look at it tomorrow. And uh, I think we, should, we will probably have a follow up later on this week. I'm not sure if Jeanette's um, and Mutuma is uh, available for that uh, on as well on this, because obviously there will be some questions from the viewers and the listeners, uh, obviously tomorrow or those ones who will be watching it tomorrow. We'll take a shot at saying, listen, I'd love somebody like N Natasha to write my bio and see, you know, what it looks like. You know, here's a, here's a young, fresh perspective. And I think that becomes very exciting as opposed to going to a, a traditional script writer who's going to start off by saying you've got a BCOM, LLB, da 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 whatever. In other words, create the, you know, the excitement and the VUMA, which becomes very important for marketing people or people with skills, et cetera, et cetera, if I'm understanding what this was meant to be all about. In fact, well, may, maybe Natasha, Ian becomes your first project. And let's, let's probably create a, a page for him. Probably start drinking afterwards, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, so we can uh, we can make uh, Ian uh, uh, our our one pager. What we, what do we put about Ian in a page? I'm, I'm sure it'll be interesting. Mr. Where, <laughs> okay. where, where are you actually based? I don't know anything yeah. about. I've heard you from Ricky. He speaks very highly of you. Um, he did say to me that this is a gentleman that articulates incredibly well, and I've I've really enjoyed. Uh, listening to a lot of what you've said, and uh, I hope to obviously be a part of many more, uh, even if it's sort of uh, casual conversations and share some ideas with you in terms of building this community, which I think is a very good idea. Um, I think networking across Africa is one of the biggest challenges in sub-Saharan Africa. I, I, look, I look at our business and the struggles, you know, in terms of formal business, you know, getting into a disc game across the road in in, in in Namibia or Botswana is, is not particularly difficult, but sort of uh, heading up north and, and, and finding, um, you know, similarities and, 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 uh, and ideas of pulling brands across, you know, the, the continent is, is, is way more challenging. And it's, you know, th these types of things become interesting. We are on the continent. South Africa should be, you know, a spearheader of development of, of, of lots of smart, clever things. And somehow always falls off the wagon. I'm never sure you know what it is 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 it a is it a people limitation is it a greed lim, you know a greed factor that becomes the you know the limiting device um just it, it's it's weird for me you know i, I look at you know I, I often go to trade shows in in the us and i look at uh, some of my friends who are um whether they be chinese american korean american 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 and i look at how proficiently they're able to work the continent next door, which should be Central America. And I watch how it that becomes a, a sort of almost a borderless exercise in their world. Yet for us, you know, being a, a major shipping port for a lot of Africa and being a, a country that has capacity to do things, it's just absolutely impossible to sort of, you know, cross into into in, in, into terrains that you know, are more than two, three thousand kilometers away from us. It's just, it's unbelievable. And I've even seen it, and I'm, I may be speaking out of turn with a company like Amco, who traditionally have shipped into 45 territories, but I watched the slog um, as opposed to the ease after many, many years. And it's just, it's, 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 it's a wonder for me. No, in fact, uh, thank you very much uh, for that. I'm based in Jobbik and uh, Bryanstone. And uh, uh, thanks uh, for coming. And what you're saying is so significant. And uh, you cross a border, you don't know what lies in store for you. Uh, you go somewhere else. Who do you work with? Uh, how best we uh, attack the African market? And uh, who is who? Uh, where? Uh, it's not easy to know the people. And uh, you pay school fees. Uh, more expensively because you don't know the terrain and we all don't know it. So by us uh, working together, it means we can reduce the cost of doing business. We can cross borders like we are doing right now, meeting different people. Uh, even this evening, I, I got a, a message from someone uh, 
who have known uh, 25 years ago. And because of LinkedIn and because of VC to see uh, that person responded to me, then we spoke and the, that's a, an accelerator, a connector. So what we are doing is a, a, uh, built around the problem of marketing oneself. Even if you gave me a job because I'm black and say I know the whole of Africa, I would discover that I don't know anything. Because it's very expensive to know people and you have to call one-on-one. -on -one. It's very expensive. But uh, if we do it this way, it means uh, people will see me and you uh, together. And then they'll say, but you know so and so, do you know Ian? And we're trying to do this in Kenya, in uh, Uganda. Then I may find somebody in Uganda who is in my, my phone book, but I've forgotten who they are. So I may not be able to retrieve it, but uh, because they have seen me, they say, I saw you talking about X. So I, I remember two days ago at the, at the show, there's uh, somebody from Peru who lives in Washington, D.C. And uh, she managed to see me on the show and uh, says, I've been looking for you all these years. Amazing, eh? Shows and uh, and just because of this, uh, uh, now we are in touch. So that's how the amazing part in Malaysia, people I went to school with, uh, we have not been in touch for maybe 30 years. But uh, somehow the uh, on social media, and uh, whenever I have a show, they, they plug in somewhere. They know, but I don't know that they know that, I, that I'm alive. But they found you. <laughs> it's easier. I've made it easier for them to find me. But if That's I have true. somebody who's doing business in Malaysia, then I, I just refer them. So it becomes easier. So I've seen it, uh, and you are one example. Derek is one example. And we are already talking about business with Derek to say, how do we build an alternative banking platform? And that's what we are talking about. But uh, three weeks ago, I didn't know him. Yeah, listen, this, 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 this is the amazing part of, of this type of, of forum. So I look, for, I look forward to coming in again, and I look forward to hopefully meeting you in Johannesburg sometime. I used to travel up there every week uh, pre-lockdown and... Uh, so I have no doubt that uh, Ricky will do the formal introductions at some point. It would be great to meet. And hopefully I'll meet the rest of everybody as well. And I'm sorry that I didn't chat one-on-one -on -one with everybody. But uh, next time, Janet, and um, we'll definitely catch up more and get to learn more about what, you, what each individual does. And really wish you lots of luck in, 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 in this uh, building process. And I look forward to being a part. And if I can... You know, add anything, Natasha, at any time, even if it's an idea or a, a design or an anything, uh, it'll be my pleasure. Just let me know. Perfect. So thanks, thanks, Iano. I think thanks. Uh, thanks, uh, Ian. That's Thank you, Ian. Natasha is a bridge. That's why we call C to C. 100%. And she's a good bridge. And um, yeah, as Natasha knows that my, my time is a little challenged at the moment because I have a an 18-year-old daughter, a five-year-old, a, a much younger wife as well. And uh, I have um, a business that is complicated because we start off very early in the morning with the Chinese. We finish very late the American times. Um, I have a, obviously the relationship in Pretoria with Amca is a, a very challenging, demanding uh, relationship with lots of very exciting projects. If we can, if we can see ourselves past COVID, um, you know, in terms of done to our, our industry but um hopefully things will normalize and we'll get back to sort of patterned hours where one can sort of you know balance things more meaningfully and uh, as i said would love to be a part of uh, future discussions and, and ideas no thank you and uh on behalf of the team uh, we need all the help we need all the wisdom we need all the understanding all the contacts, all the networks, so that when we put them together, we're stronger because of the people we are associated with. Well, thank you again. And please accept my apologies for leaving you guys early. 
Um, and we will definitely catch up again. And, and good luck with the rest of the evening. And I look forward to you guys. Thank you. Good night, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So right. I, I don't know. We can uh, we can uh, call uh, we can look at the page and uh, uh, Natasha and Janet. You can you can do the page and then just record it and then we we share it. So you can find another time because we already taken too much of your time. I think what Janet and I have discussed is um, we will go. I will go through the um, the page that she sent the link through. Um, I'll just ask her just to send me the links on WhatsApp as well, so that I have them. And then what I'll do is I'll put notes on there, and we'll do a little guideline for all the CTC members, and we'll distribute it tomorrow in the morning. Let's say before lunchtime, and obviously they can do what they need to do with it. I know that there is a timeline and a cutoff tomorrow night. Um, so we will try our best to um, give everything to everybody. So there's ample time for everybody to um, draft no, their... Like what you have done in the show is, uh, imagine uh, Ian is a better understanding or uh, what we are trying to do. So it's easier for yourself to get support from your networks. Mm. Because uh, it's one thing to describe what we are doing because all of us have never done it before. So nobody knows. Mm. But what we know is uh, already it's paying dividends because uh, it, uh, uh, it has given Ricky another opportunity. Imagine we had to do even with the law firm. We could mm. set up a law firm and have an Uber type of law firm. Yes, a virtual law firm. No, that, that, that actually is happening. I saw on LinkedIn, I'm following, a, of, I've connected to a person up in, I think he's in Dubai at the moment, and um, he's um, one of the board members of a company, I think it's called Seven Pillars, and they're yeah. a virtual law firm, which is quite great. Um, actually, I need to send you the link. Um, he's a very amazing, he's actually a very interesting gentleman because he's very full justice and putting things online and making it more streamlined and more easier accessible for people um what else i can send you his details into one maybe you can link with him up at linkedin um he's you know he's he's got this virtual law firm which is great and you know it, it allows people to still practice and not have actual physical office which is you know which is it, it's it's a new century we, we, we're moving on towards but imagine doing... we, we get ricky to take all these lawyers we put them into a platform where we can call on them to run workshops hmm. uh, on different subjects as part of that uh, structured programs. Well, so I think it was great. You know, and I've spoken to him before, and he said to me he must, you know, he's on board for that. Um, you know, uh, we've even worked on a schedule where we have time available because we also, you know, we have a two-year-old that uh, takes a lot of our time. <laughs> So when the one watches her, the other one works, so we kind of like split up. But he said he's, he is on board for, for workshops like that. He really doesn't mind. But, but so, you, can do, you can do that just to have the list. Mm. The list of lawyers, then we approach them. So we leave him to do the other things. So we can bring them on the show and to say, can you talk about what you do? And that's mm. part of the magazine. Then uh, every day we uh, we have the same faces. Uh, we are today at least we have Ian. Tomorrow we got somebody else. Tomorrow we got somebody. So we get a variety of people to talk about what they do. Yes, I'm actually got two people lined up this week. I'm not sure. Um, we had Joyce. She joined our WhatsApp group today. Yeah, so um, she's up in Nigeria. So I want to get her on the virtual coffee this week. So she said she'll let me know her, her time. And then I've got another gentleman that's um, based in Durban as well. Um, I remember you said you wanted an Indian. So he's Indian. So he'll be joining us as well this week. I think Thursday. Yes. Um, uh, just to get different people to come and talk about what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Then we put them in the magazine. Yes. So, so we end up. It's in a magazine that is a that is a face of what we're doing. Mm. Because uh, it means uh, if you send it to Ian's friends, he, they will know you were together. Yes, true. So you don't have to introduce her again to go to Ian. You can put your new Facebook, you can put your Twitter, and people can make their own links. Mm. 
So that's what we we are trying to strive towards. And it's great, you know, because like you said, we might not um, have that person might not be available for a meeting, but you can send that profile to someone and they can. That's why it's so important to put the right information on that profile, because that profile needs to describe who you are. So when the person actually meets you in real life, they can see, oh, OK, I know who you are, but I've never met you. That's okay. the, the kind of feeling we would like people to to get from from these profiles, and I think it's it is a very important thing. There are very is a lot of strict rules that needs to be put in place to create this, so we can give that kind of feeling to the person who we're reading your profile. Um, so it's very important, um, and I think we today in our show we did discuss people who have a LinkedIn profile but who don't have a picture, who don't have any information, and how are we supposed to know if you're a real person? So um, yes. Um, and so, I said, Janet, I'll work sorry. with you on this. It, uh, yeah, on Janet's side, what do you think? So you say you're breaking a, a bit much, uh, but I was just um, following up on the tip is that I could, yeah. Uh, I agree with um, Natasha and you say that we need to talk more about the magazine. And so far, that uh, what I've done is I've tried to put conversations that are in the group. I've, um, I've centered my converse, my articles around those. That's mm -hmm. what I've done for now. So the more we talk about it, I also think the more the word will spread faster, and the more it will also make sense to more people. I truly could agree we, with that. Sorry, Chidabu, could we do uh, the virtual coffee tomorrow morning regarding the magazine? Would that That's what you? I was thinking that we we do that and uh, we get. Uh, it's just the 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 continuation of the of this profiling of this business uh, networks how do we leverage mm. uh, and how do we reconfigure among our friends some people don't use us because they don't know we're available mm. not true and so, I didn't we, that. so tomorrow there's a presentation there are people who have a, a platform for banking Mm. Uh -huh. They have a presentation at nine o'clock. So anyone who is available at nine o'clock, just to it's called for for us. Uh, there is a guy who made uh, tons of money with a platform and okay. uh, uh, a fintech uh, up, mm. and then he, he now started a bank, uh, an alternative banking platform. So Those are so interesting. You know, I've learned how to do cryptocurrency this week, and I, <laughs> to me, that was so scary. But, you know, um, I've heard about these alternative banking, and you get online credit cards now. You get so many things yeah. online now. And, you know, I think that's something I really would like to, you know, even if I can't be part of it, I would love to, to, like to no, watch that. Available, I'll send you the link. Uh, it's uh, for 9 o'clock tomorrow so that uh, we hear what they're offering. And mm. then uh, see how best we can mark, we can work with them to open in Zimbabwe. They are looking for somebody in Zimbabwe. Okay. Uh, to do the, the the banking side. All right. So that's uh, those are the opportunities that. But tomorrow we can continue on that uh, building the stepping stones. And also just uh, getting developing a list for ourselves. Yes. So that, that list will be the friends. Uh, and uh, sometimes it's difficult. Uh, if you say we're going to do this, uh, uh, lawyers are busy. So you can't mm -hmm. keep working with them. So we can say, okay, Ricky, give me five people. So I just call them about this building communities, as long as they are aware of it, mm. then you're already validating yourself. Mm. And uh, uh, it will pay off by the end of the week, we'll have so many. I was here, guys, and I couldn't hear a thing. Uh, could be my Dodge network could be back, Joseph Sego says. But uh, uh, let's, uh, Wellington, do you want to say final words? Uh, 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 I guess I don't have much to say, but I'm, I'm just saying this is a good initiative. I like the magazine. I, I, I saw Jared working on it, and I thought it was quite good. 
Yeah, and uh, of course, I would like to join the meeting at nine o'clock to see what's going on with cryptocurrencies and other opportunities. Yeah, I think yeah. we're getting somewhere. Hi, Natasha. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Can Hi, you what I'm working on right now. Hey, so now you know, you know, I understand the uh, Wellington and Natasha and the Janet are family now. So if yeah, anyone is down about C to C, then he, what mode do you want? True. Yes, something this is one. happening. Mm. Uh, yes, it's, it's going to take time, but it will happen. I think we'll, we'll, we'll experience a J cave at some point. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So but that's... It's, uh, it's, it's trial and error, you know, and, um, you know, nothing starts off beautiful. You know, any, everything we do starts off as basic and then we just build from there and we go from there because... You know, uh, to reach your main goal, it's never, to, you can't jump because Rome was ever built in a day. You know, they built it brick by brick by brick. And this is exactly what this magazine's about. It's about building it brick by brick. And you know what? We just need to encourage each other. And, you know, we are two ladies. And I believe we are two smart ladies and we are two creative ladies. So that makes us a very strong force. And, you know, um, so uh, I know it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to take time. But, you know, we'll get there. We're going to get there because we both believe in the same thing. And we both believe in pushing the C2C community forward. And whilst we won't be sitting here tonight, you know. So, um, uh, so like I said. You have done a lot. And, uh, right now, you know how many we've reached on the, on, the, on the Twitter? You know how many people have reached? No, I would love to know. <laughs> okay. The, it's, uh, there are two. I sent two posts. Yes. The, the, the first one, we have reached the 1,252 impressions. Okay. Seven engagements. This is in an hour. The other one is 1,273 and 67 engagements. Yes. Wow. So, so people are watching at this time of the night. They're not sleeping. People are working this time of night. Yeah. So if I can reach 1,000, uh, if I can have these impressions, these interactions, on my own, how many people can I reach? It's very few. Mm -hmm. So that's True. part of the magazine. That's just to show the stats. That within an mm. hour, that's what we reached. Mm. Mm? True. No, that is very true. That is very true, I think. Uh, there's power uh, when, when people work together. Mm. So, Janet, just focusing on the, on this group, featuring Natasha, featuring yourself, featuring Wellington, that's a page. Because Natasha yeah. will have you. Uh, Ricky will be on the page. Uh, so and so will be on the page. And mm. just to make it a funny uh, network, just a picture of the three of us or four of us, uh, mm. that's it. And, and then you just talk a bit, number one, number two, number three. That's all. Mm -hmm. You don't have to uh, struggle to put something more words because people want pictures. Yeah. They don't yeah, want too much verbal. It's like a yeah. tweet. Mm. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So and so, well, so... And that's uh, that's what uh, that's what uh, remains. Uh, today we're privileged to have Ian so and so, and this is uh, Ricky uh, a, 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 and Natasha's friend. That's it. Then we go to the next one. Then we send mm -hmm. him the page. So it's what on the press. So tomorrow, instead of talking to him, he, he's got the page. He can look. He's busy. So we don't want to go and start again waiting. So by tomorrow morning is day, and he, he will respond and say thanks, guys. That thanks is already news. Mm. True. And his words on the show, if you just edited it, I'll just take the words and say this is an interesting what he proposed. Then we put it in because mm -hmm. already I have the words. I don't have to go and interview him again. Yeah. True, true, yeah. So it's not uh, something that we can, uh, if we have uh, 
Somebody listen in. I just convert that and cut a small short. Mm -hmm. And I can do a YouTube link. And just put it on the on the on the on the on the. If it's online, uh, I can click the link, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and I can do the video. So it's a. Uh, uh, it's no longer the, the 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 online as we knew it. Mm. True. So. So it adds up. It adds up to the flavor and structure. Mm. That's true. Sir. So let's cover the guys we are with tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. You cover the owner, the owner of the platform. Maybe you have. I think there are about seven of them on their side. Okay. Yeah. So on our side, we will be taking the names one by one. To say I want to feature this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the plan. Okay, and then tomorrow morning we will continue with that's on the yeah, virtual coffee show. Depending on what time we finish, we may be we may finish that, but the, uh, then we just continue on this uh, uh, profiling and. Uh, uh, the the people we know perfect and uh, so i'll send you the email yeah. uh, so wellington uh, let's see yes the uh, wellington yeah then uh, janet yes sir Natasha. So I'll send the email so that you see the the people who are attending. All right. Hmm. Okay, so, so that, we can create that profile with what we what we can what we've got. And yeah, okay. And then we can prepare just for trial with uh, Ian. What do we put oh, about tonight? What do we put in the C to C? Okay. So that the other people may see uh, you guys are serious. Uh, at least you are bringing some serious people. Mm -hmm. I, I think Meta should be writing on that one, right? Sorry? I'm saying I think you'll be writing on that one, right? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I have done, I think, we have nope. done a... a Profile for Ian a little bit well back. So what we could do is I could always use from that and then um, uh, create one for the CTC as well. That's right. And you can also go to my Twitter handle and see the picture there. You pick it up. Just talk about uh, uh, the 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 starts in two hours, three hours. This is what I've done. What he has done, and he was in the he was at our sh on our show, and obviously. Uh, the community project appealed to him. Mm. Okay, you can just send me those stats on WhatsApp, then I will uh, do a. Uh, uh, are you are you not on my? Uh, are you following me on 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 uh, Twitter now? Yeah, I think I am. Oh, but you can't see my stats. Is that good? No. That's right, why I always so... ask you for them. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's uh, let let me do that. Uh, this is just one hour away. Yeah. So that's uh, that's it. Yeah, I put it in uh, C to C excellence. Okay, I should get it. All right. It should come to uh, my internet is so bad lately. It's really I think we've got so but we've got very bad weather in Durban. We've got winds that are like really bad. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
So I, uh, I don't know that you guys got it. Not yet. Uh, uh, mm, I haven't received it yet. Okay. It's uh, yeah. The two of them are there. On the C to C. Oh no, it's excellent. Sorry. Yeah, my internet is quite bad as well, so I guess it will take a bit of time. I, I, no, I don't think you guys are on that group here. Okay. On the media, excellent. No, no, that says uh, skills. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, I found it. I got it. Thanks. Thanks, yeah. Thank you, sir. Perfect. Right. Okay, so Thank then we'll tomorrow see you guys all, right. all tomorrow. Good night. All right. All right. Good, night. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.